don't know. I'm just so locked in. I feel like I'm uh, touching my prime. I'm touching my prime years. I'm getting better and better. Uh, I've been watching my fights. And uh, I just feel like I'm touching these years where it's about to get real scary for these fighters. Um, I really don't care who's in front of me. I don't feel like no fighter can beat me. Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. Denise Baranchak joined the ranks of one Javante Tank Davis with the WBA, Shakur Stevenson with the WBC, and Vasily Lomachenko with the IBF last night as he defeated Emmanuel Navarrete. And didn't really surprise me, um, but it was a very good fight. You know, um, I thought it came down to work rate because Baranchek was able to outwork Navarrete. And also, you got to think, Navarrete been kind of like using his weight and styling on people because he did come from 122. The benefactor of being able to drain down and then puff back up and then outwork his opponents. You know, we've seen a little glimpse of that when it came down to Robson Casasial. And that fight that we saw with them and how that ended. But something was telling me that Baranchek was going to be able to use his footwork. Because when you look at Usyk and Lomachenko, his, fo his fellow countrymen, they tend to have very good feet. This guy was a little bit awkward. Not as awkward as Navarrete, but he was opportunistic and he had the more impactful punches. And you would think that Navarrete with those big hands will be able to do some damage, but moving up, sometimes power doesn't carry over. And I'm starting to question whether or not Navarrete is even going to be a key player. However, Tim Bradley said some things in that fight yesterday concerning Emmanuel Navarrete and Shakur Stevenson that made me go, hmm, might see that in another video. You know, but last night, Baranchek handled business. He completed the hat trick in which Vasil Lomachenko recently got his belt off of uh, Cambosis for the IBF. You had the undisputed champion being crowned in Usyk as he took on Fury in Riyadh season as the, fir the first undisputed champion in, in about 25 years. Made history. So there was three Ukrainians that recently became champion. Two of them happened to be in what I call the Badlands, the 135 division aka the lightweight division that pretty much right now you can say is dominated by Javante Tank Davis. At least all roads lead through Javante Tank Davis. Baranchek, he did what a good champion would do. He got out there and when they asked him who he would want to see next, he gave names. Names that make sense. He said maybe Keyshawn Davis. I'm like wow. That was great. That means Keyshawn getting, you know, if the champion come out and say that he wants you and he gives you an opportunity at his belt, what are we waiting for? <laughs> but he said Keyshawn Davis. He said Shakur Stevenson. That would be a unification. And then he also said Raymond Danger Moritaya, who's coached by the great Robert Garcia. I'm like, man, I really like this Baranchek guy. He looks like a champion that's not going to duck and dodge no smoke. Very likable names. Very good fights to see. Very challenging fights. Because I think right now, any three of those names, if you ask them to go see Baranchek, who, did, who you think will win, I'm thinking that in all three of those fights, they would think that those other guys would be the favorite. But we're looking at a blue-collar, lunch pail, hard hat type of guy. A guy that knows what to say. Knows what to do playing with a heavy heart and wearing his country on his shoulders that was able to get the job done so i salute baranchek i salute navarate for being a good sport saying hey look i'm gonna come back i feel like i can digest and things like that so that was his first fight then he got to clean up some mechanics but right now i think navarate is what he is baranchek is what he is but i would love to see what's going to happen how would bob going to allow him to maneuver because right now bob has 
all of the pieces over there on his side except for the Javante Tank Davis piece. So I would love to get your thoughts, love to get your feedback. Were you, were you surprised by what happened? You know, and what do you think should happen next? We got William Zapata. He's chomping at the bit. He can fight. He could fight either Lomachenko or Baranchek. He could fight Tank or Shakur. And Loma's, I think Loma wants undisputed, but right now I don't think Loma really wants Tank. You know, I, I see Tank wanting him right now. So we got to see how this all mix up. But I would love to hear your thoughts about, you know, the landscape right now, the lightweight division. Who's poised to take it all over? Right now, Tank Davis has it in a stronghold. But now, it's a new lay of the land. We just got to sit back and wait. We got to see Tank Davis defend his belt against Frank Martin on June 15th. We also have to see Shakur Stevenson defend his belt against the tough Artem Haratunian. That's going to tell us everything we need to know as these guys make these title defenses and the law of the land starts shifting. I would love to hear from Keyshawn Davis about this, you know, because that's an opportunity. Raymond Danger more tired. That's an opportunity. And we sure core already got a fight, but we just got to wait and see. Anyways, thanks for tuning in here with Body Work Boxing. But we don't take things for face value. We do that body work.